Welcome back, multifamily investors. We're checking the latest inventory this morning. Let's dive into it. We got one duplex in Kitsap. Let's see, it's uh, not new, it's back on market. So probably had a price reduction or something like that, or a buyer backed out. We'll take a look. I'm sure we've probably covered it in the past 191 days it's been on market. Yeah, this um, nice 2006 townhome style duplex. There are three beds, two and a half bath, 1,286 square feet. Great, there's one unit open for, this is a great opportunity for an owner occupied investor um, to house hack this opportunity, live in one side, rent out the other. And the price is still seems a little rich though, in my opinion, for that area, even though it's a nice 2006 property, I would say this probably needs to be closer to seven and a quarter. Uh, two duplexes in Pierce, one for 550 in Tacoma came back on market. This one, I don't know why it'd be two, 2.5 million. It's probably a portfolio of duplexes. so they. They sometimes can double list. Um, let's take a look though. Yep, this one came back on market. I saw this yesterday, investor alert, three bedroom, old hundred and some year old property, 1908. So 115 years old. Uh, it's in South Central kind of Tacoma, three bed, one and three quarter bath up, three and one quarter bath down. That, uh, those rents are not very good for that property. See, most sellers, they need to, they really should try and get the rents up before they list. They'll, they'll, they'll have much better chances when, when buyers see the 3.8. It scares even though, you know, cap rate is one of many, many metrics you should be looking at, not not the only metric. And it, especially under four units or less, doesn't really apply. Uh, but anyway, uh, 1275 is, is dirt cheap for three beds, one, three, four bath, unless these are just trash. But I don't recall them being in poor condition. Let's just take, yeah, I mean, dated but um you need to get those rents up if you want the value oops sorry i'm gonna need to go back to the big the big one that's listed for 2.5 let's see <clears throat> 11 street apartments is an eight unit complex that is turnkey so it's probably four duplexes that's why it's coming up under the duplex new listings uh built in 67 they're all two bed and one baths 8, 880 square feet Looks like they're ranging well from geez 1535 to up to 1850 so they're showing some pretty incredible potential uh it's saying a 5.7 cap on eight units let's just take a peek here and see yeah it looks like uh four duplexes all flat roofs rambler style kind of cool mid-century look to them a bit with carports and this this siding here my guess is they're on septic though. Let's just double check and see. Um, oh no, sewer, nice. So, uh, let's see. Monthly utility bill backs amounts 12, 27 a month, 75 for pets, water sewer 552, and law service 600, tents are responsible for paying own power and garbage. It's a pretty decent opportunity. Pelop's a good area for the most part. Uh, this is downtown Pelop. We're going to save that one and take a look at that one later. Okay, but that's, uh, you know, an eight unit they have listed in duplexes. I, I don't know why they would put it there, I guess, to attract someone that might be looking for that type of property. But those, I'm guessing, are not on their own tax parcels. So um, you'd be buying all four of them, of course, all four properties. Uh, let's see, we've got a fourplex in oh this is a price reduction i was watching this one it's a little over 800 i thought it still worked at 815 it's actually like two different structures on one one corner lot um they've been getting the rents up and they're on sewer it's been rehabbed a bit you can see they're two structures so it's it's not a true fourplex it's four units but under 800 a uh, thousand for Kitsap is not too bad for four rentable units. And I think the unit mix is, it's all one bed. So we got two that are smaller, two that are 678 square feet, <clears throat> but not a bad, and you can house hack that too. That's four units or less. So you can go residential and live in those things. Let's see what Kitsap, we've got a triplex. Oh, this is the one. This is the one I had under contract. We had to back out. There were two issues that came up um that my first time investors couldn't uh didn't want to accept the, the responsibility or liability for and i don't blame them for your first investment these were pretty big challenges to overcome uh, still i think a pretty 
decent opportunity. The property is, it's nice, has a redone cottage in the back that could be Airbnb. If you're curious about this property, or like to know what we uncovered, please uh, feel free to reach out. Uh, I don't want to put it on YouTube, but um, I'm happy to have a conversation with someone that's interested. Uh, two five plus units in Seattle. Uh, we got, oh, yep. I know about these. They finally went public on the MLS. These were uh, lists pre marketed around uh, the last few weeks. I'm going to probably be submitting offers on these for a client. So not going to go into too much detail. Um, it's a seven unit and another seven unit on Finney, um, owned by the same investment group. It's a women's investment group. And, um, yep, I'm going to take a shot of those for my client today. Let's see. We've got, uh, one down in Thurston, Tumwater. It's a duplex. I can tell already from that price. Probably. Yep. Great little side by side. Let's see. 73. I like it. Uh, it's on slab. It's uh, two bed, one bath, 780 square feet, 1500 each. It says. You know, it could be about right. It sounds a little light, maybe depending on the condition. Uh, they pay all their own utilities. I love that. You have flooring, month to month agreements. Let's just take a quick peek. Looks like you've got some moss on the roof there. Let's see, yep. Nice clean driveway. Uh, no fence line, no fence. It's pretty open. It looks like you're next to some other similar type of duplexes. Not a lot of pictures, so we don't know. So again, this is a situation where, you know, if it's the right price, it's the right location, what you're looking for, uh, it's in your budget. We, we want to take a shot at it. We want to lock this up as quickly as possible. Uh, it just came on the market. We just want the right to, to do a walkthrough and see if we want to move forward. Doesn't mean you have to, to close on it and buy it. Uh, that's how we just did the triplex in Bremerton. We did our walkthrough. Earnest money wasn't even deposited yet we didn't pay for any inspections we, we walked through the property it wasn't right we found out some other things and we just backed out no harm no foul if you would like to learn how to do that let me know thank you for watching <laughs>